Hello everyone, welcome to the Cloud Network. In this tutorial, I am going to show you about the installation of Ubuntu 14.04.0.2. Uh, is the latest version of Ubuntu has, has been released. So this is supported for the I am mean, uh, showing you about desktop support at 64 bit. Uh, I am going to install in virtual box. You can also install in VMware workstation also. The same method, the same procedure you need to follow that I'm going to show you. Every command step you can follow in the de description box below to my video. So to install uh, Ubuntu, uh, you can install in desktop, laptop or server also. With the help of pen drive bootable or DVD you need to have. Pen drive you need to have 4 GB at least free space or DVD you need to have 4 GB uh, free space. After that you need to make a bootable, pen drive bootable with this uh, uh, Ubuntu. Then what is Ubuntu 40.04 is the latest version have been released support for workstation servers cloud editions Ubuntu it supports all flavors like server desktop support it's Ubuntu is the operating system based on Linux kernel and it's also gives a free sources op open source free open source support software distribution you can download from software distribution centers Ubuntu and aim of these technologies is such to give a uh, good features and uh, minimum system uh, system requirement you need to have uh, one gigabyte processor or dual core processor you can if you have this processor means you can install ubuntu and one gb of ram you need to have and then five gb of disk space you need to have after that fourth one is your uh, display uh, at least you need to have 104 into 76 and then you need to have dvd or usb port to for the installation you need to have and after that internet access to download Ubuntu 14.0.2 LTS long term support, so you can download from this link. You will find this link under the below to my description box. And so, you need to select an image first of all. Uh, if you if you want to download for the desktop supported, so this is one is 32 bit supported, x86 supports with 32 bit. Remember, please, x86 is a 32 bit supported or ISO image. So OS also supported. So for the 64 bit supported, you can download for this AMD Intel. So both this image supported for desktop. If you want to download for the server image, you can download for this 64. This is 32 bit supported server image, and this one is the 64 bit supported uh, server image. And this also you can go for scroll down it. See desktop image, other one method procedure double times copied. So when you scroll down. You will be find other things like you can download from uh, torrent also see this is a desktop image and the size of uh, download at least 900 mb will be come and from this you can download 14.0 uh, desktop image for the intel amd 64 bit scroll down to find server also installation pc 64 bit other things you can find others so this is my iso image 14.04 which i have already downloaded the size you can see 694 MB is the size. In my channel, you can find about the installation of Oracle uh, Virtual Box. Just you need to search here. You will find under the my uh, installation of Oracle. You need to just search and you will find how to install Oracle Virtual. So click here new. So after clicking new, you need to give a name. You can give here any name 14.04. Uh, I am giving 0 0.2 and after that you need to select the version which you want to select whether 32 bit or 64 bit select after that one and click on next you need to assign the RAM for this installation I am giving maximum at the green point you can please do not go beyond to this uh, red point you need to stay at the green point only after that click on next click create the next next here is the hard disk size which is going to be storage and this is the location where it's going to be installed and storage in your uh, hard disk and this one is the size which you want to give at least 10 GB or 20 GB so I have given the 35 GB is the size for installation I have changed the location you can also keep the location by default also click to create and go to settings here and then you need to click on systems uncheck floppy and then you need to click on processor check everything is okay okay then go to display and go to storage click on empty you need to click here on the small icon of the cd dvd click to 
choose your virtual dvds where you so this is my iOS image click to open assign where you have downloaded the iOS image click on network go to bridge adapter okay check the name which is exactly has taken or not after that click ok and press to start now so it's booting 14.04.2 finally we came on the welcome screen so we need to select either without installation you can try ubuntu all the features you can try by just click on the try ubuntu and if you want to install the ubuntu just click on ubuntu before click on uh, install ubuntu you need to select the language which you want for the installation according to your language purpose you select the language you which you, language you belongs to and then click to next click to install ubuntu after that automatically so for the first result showing that computer has a 6.4 gb available okay and is internet connected okay if you want to check this box you can check both the option and i'm checking and click to next continue and then here is the hard disk uh, partition is there uh, automatically what it will do it will erase the hard disk and install the ubuntu that means any files data you whatever you have in the hard disk means it will be completely format so before formatting you should be take a backup of this one data and then go ahead so if you want to have something else you can go ahead with the security key and if you want to use lvm with installation or something else means manually you want to go the partition means you can choose see your man multiple options multiple partitions for the open so you can go ahead so i am selecting the first option only click to install now and after that it's going to be start the installation so you need to select the time zone automatically uh, it has been selected for my country and if you want for a different location you can select click to continue so you need to select the keyboard layout language uh, so you can select uh, English other thing language means for this Chinese France German you can select here and after that click to continue if you want to detect automatically you can detect so here we need to give a uh, username for the login so I am giving uh, like I am giving cloud and you can give any name here inside I am giving cloud network okay and pick up the username cloud okay I am giving the password for this uh, cloud username and automatically login in if you want to require login with the password you can check this one and click to continue please provide the password very strong and giving the use password with pass weak password so now my friends uh, it's almost take for, for the installation around 25 or above minutes it will take for the complete installations till then you can have a coffee or cup of tea so my friend uh, that installation has been completed now i'm going to uh, reboot it now it's showing to restart now and click to restart now so my friend this has been completely installed and you can see this is your uh, let us check the version so checked about this click settings open to help uh, no so you click on about this computer okay to check uh, so you can see 14.04 ubuntu has been installed for this uh, full screen version click on devices go to install guest uh, device edition to make your full screen so now what you have to do is you need to run type the password click authenticate it's going to be installed that now that has been installed now we need to press enter to close this window and now we, go, we need to restart this Ubuntu click on settings and click to shut down and then restart this one after restarting it will become with a full screen now so finally you can see full screen see I'm just adjusting my window size so so you can see it's coming the full screen so thank you for watching my Cloudnet video please subscribe to Cloudnet channel if you have any problem, if you have any doubt, you can uh, comment below to my video. Thank you for watching. Until next video.